Good afternoon. We're back with more Lord of the Rings LCG, and today is the Battle of Cairn Doom on Nightmare Difficulty. This is my pick for most difficult quest in the game on progression mode. Yeah, it's close, but you could make a case for Mount Doom, Battle of Cairn Doom, or Escape from Dol Guldur. But this one was my pick. On Nightmare Difficulty, it is not the most difficult Nightmare quest. It's still very difficult, though. This has a boss enemy that you start with, Thardir, that has two sides, a captain's side, and uh, I forget what the other side is called, but he flips if he gets three shadow cards on him. In this quest, the shadow cards can build up on an enemy. And if he flips, he has an effect which his effects can be pretty horrifying. While he's on his captain's side, enemies get minus uh, engagement cost. Makes it easier for them to engage. I believe it's minus 10. Which isn't enough for the Cairn Doom garrison that also starts in the staging area to have to engage me on the first round. I'm off to a pretty decent start here, but no Ether Swordsman so far. But a lot of Outlands allies all at once. So that's good. That's what you need on this quest. It's a tough one. Just questing for five here. When no Ether Swordsman come, pretty limited questing potential. So I've got to discard a card and all copies of it from my deck. Luckily it's just a good harvest. And as a sorcery card was revealed, Thourdeer is going to proc his effect. One shadow card to each enemy in play. Not great to get a shadow card on him early, but I did get off to a very good start, so. There's two Ether Swordsmen. Unfortunately, I have to discard two Hunters of Lamadon. I do have some resources built up on her Luin, so I can get them back. I can actually get both of them back immediately. This is about as good a start as this deck is capable of, and that is perfect for one of the most difficult quests in the game. So each quest card in play is going to gain the battle trait, which means we are questing with attack power instead of willpower. And that is just fine because we do have two Knights of the Swan on the table. So I'm thinking about how much I want to quest for. I'd like to clear the Accursed battle Battlefield. It's not super essential though. Since I have two Ether Swordsmen and two Knights of the Swan. I'm just going to quest for 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. Against 5. So we'll go up to 14. So, either deal one shadow card to each enemy in staging, or search for a side quest and add it to staging. I think about doing the side quest for a moment, but then I decide on the shadow card. So that is not a sorcery card, so it doesn't proc Thourdeer. We are going to clear out the accursed battlefield. And probably want to engage this enemy here. Optionally engage him. His threat can build up over time, and it's best to keep the staging area clear whenever possible anyway. 
So I just realized he got plus two threat for each uh, shadow card him, on him, so I had to take two progress off the quest. So no problem on those shadow card effects. But he does have to flip over to his champion side and make an immediate attack. because of the shadow card effect. At the end of the round, he's going to flip back over to his captain side as per the text on the phase 1B. I misspoke earlier. When he's on his champion side, he gives enemies minus 10 engagement. I believe on the other side, it's plus 10. I've got a lot of combat power out for round 2, and I can take out this enemy. with room to spare. So he gets one shadow card for being flipped. Off to a very strong start in this quest. I'm gonna check to see if there's any one cost Outlands allies in my deck that I could grab with Men of the West and there are not. So, just thinking about whether I want to move on into Phase 2 right now or not, I could make a good case for it. Not moving on here would be pretty conservative, to be honest, with a very strong board state and no cards in staging. So that's going to be Shadow Card number 2 for Tharadir because it's a sorcery. And that's going to attach to the Clutches of Karn Doom and increase the cost of my cards. And it's Mountains of Angmar. It's going to force me to raise my threat by two for each shadow card that has no effect. But I will make some progress, so I'll get set up to clear out the Phase 1B next round. And I'm debating whether or not I wanted to move to the Mountains of Angmar, but I decide against it. So two shadow cards on Tharadir at the moment. And definitely going to play Faramir here. And one warrior of loss or knock. I'm sad to see the other one discarded. It, it is a very good card to have when you know you're going to be facing some combat. But I've got a few chump blockers to spare here, so not sure if there's a Men of the West left or not. But I'll get by with just one or two warriors of Lost or Knock if I need to. So I'm going to quest for enough to move into phase two. And I'm just going to check and make sure I didn't forget to pay any costs for the cards that I played, and I did. Faramir should have been one more expensive which means needing to reshuffle my resources and take back the Onphalos Herdsman. Which means the Onphalos Herdsman is going to get discarded as well. But it can't be helped because I really want Faramir out here. And I don't think I'm going to need the third Onphalos Herdsman urgently. So the counter card is a side quest, which gives Tharadir plus two willpower and plus two attack and cannot take damage, and it is a battle side quest. It's no problem, though, with three Knights of the Swan out. So we're going to move on to phase two here. Let's raise each player's threat by the number of shadow cards in play. That's just two. And if Tharadir is captain, flip him. So he's going to make an immediate attack. It's going to go on a chump blocker. And he can't take damage while that side quest is in play, so I will need to clear it. Did 
discard the defending character if there's a copy of it in the owner's discard and there is so that's going to turn this into an undefended attack which is going to kill Denethor and he's going to gain a mount as a result of that card of that attack which gives him plus three hit points and raises my threat by one each time he's flipped I think I forgot to deal him another shadow card there for his immediate attack. Now he's going to get another attack that he would normally get for the combat phase. That's going to eliminate another chump blocker. And I can't deal any damage to him in return until I take out Sever the Head. So, going to put a priority, make that a high priority. Seven threat facing me, but I've got three Knights of the Swan, so not too concerned about making all the progress I need here. It does delay victory by one turn. So that's plenty to clear the quest. And I need to make 15 progress on stage 2B in order to make Thardir not indestructible anymore. But I can attack him. I can't kill him, but I can attack him. He's indestructible, but he can take damage. However, I don't think I thought of that here, so I just let all that let all those actions on my Outlands guys go to waste. Because in my mind I was thinking, oh he can't take damage, but actually he's just indestructible. He can take damage. So that was not a good play. But no problem. Gonna grab the Outlands allies that I lost earlier. So, got my maximum setup or something close to it in terms of my Outlands allies. And just gonna quest to try to clear the 15 progress, place the 15 progress I need this round and hopefully kill Thardir this round as well, so I'm questing for 34. Hopefully not a sorcery. And it is not. Deal one shadow card to each enemy in the staging area, that's fine, I'll do that. And now we have the normal combat phase attack, and then my retaliation. Flip Thardir after this attack, okay. So he's going to get one shadow card dealt to him. He would flip back to champion at the end of the round. That also raises my threat by one because of his mount. So he has 12 HP instead of 9 thanks to his mount. So I need 16 damage, which is no problem. And that will end the game.
pretty clean run, I would say, uh, because of the rapid setup that I got with Knights of the Swan early to deal with the battle questing. Two very good tails, which both had strong pulls, so definitely high rolled in this one. And that's really what you need on this quest, because it's a very difficult quest. So, thank you for watching. One thing to note, the only mistake that I saw in this one was that I failed to deal a shadow card to Thardir on one of his attacks, his immediate attacks. But the shadow effects in this quest are relatively mild, and I don't believe there's a shadow card which could have had any effect on the overall outcome. I think the next shadow card up in the deck was a plus one attack or something. And the attack was on a chump blocker, so no problem. Anyway, thanks for watching.